Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I have Substop. Substop, Substop, not Subway. Not to be confused with Subway though. The food is pretty much very much the same. So this is local. And I have a Kinza Cola from Saudi Arabia. And this is Kuwait brand of chips. We have tomato ketchup. How many calories? Ah, 131 calories for this bag. This, I don't know, I don't care. I care, but you know what I mean. This is my breakfast slash lunch. No, it's not. We all know you don't skip meals. Eating a 12 inch in one sitting sounds crazy to me. You could have at least made this into two separate meals. I'm just, I'm so tired today, so it's like a PJ day. Every day is a PJ day for you. You don't do anything. I love these PJs. Um, oh my gosh. Now I'm experimenting. I got a tuna, 12 inch tuna. On plain white bread, of course. Oh, that's a huge chunk of onion. I can't do it. Bismillah. I wanted to try onions on my tuna, but I'm chickening out a bit. Like they don't have to put so many huge chunks. You know what I mean? Anyway. Growing up, I used to hate onions. I used to pretend I was like allergic, kind of. Like, just so they wouldn't forget not to put onions. Like, kind of was like allergic because it would make me gross out. That's not how allergies work. This gall. Um, now I'm going to try. So I have a tuna on Italian bread with like tomato, lettuce. It's just like fully loaded mixed cheese, Southwest sauce, mayo, salt, pepper, pickles, lettuce. Let's go, yalla. Beauty bite. Mmm. It's not toasted. The bread is soft. So it's gonna be a soggy mess with all those sauces you put on. Gross. And that's good with all those veggies. Usually I just don't get as many veggies, especially not tomato. There's something about tomato and tuna that like gives me the ick, but now I love it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know the story of Substop, like how they get away with like transforming the franchise. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, my pajamas. <laughs> How much do you want to bet she's still gonna sleep in them tonight? It's just one of them days, you know? Man, I usually get the Parmesan oregano bread, but... Mmm, bread. I'm a bread sniffer. Oh. There was this huge, like, controversy where people were claiming that Subway... Subway's had some crazy rumors, like... Their bread is, like, made up of, like, 65% yoga mats. <laughs> Fun fact, there is so much sugar in Subway's bread that both you and Ine have declared that it doesn't classify as real bread. They, yeah, they like tested the bread and found that there was like gym mats in it or something. And my brain would go back to those stupid mats with the Velcro in gym class. Another reason to hate gym. Another rumor was that the tuna wasn't tuna. Their tuna tastes like every other can of tuna I've ever eaten. All tuna tastes the same to me. I just buy whatever, whatever's on sale. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. The Remember the McDonald's Chicken Nuggets factory? People were like grossed out because they saw that chicken nuggets were made with like a pink sludge, which was the chicken meat. But if you take a chicken breast, okay, if you try to make your own chicken nuggets and you put a chicken breast in the food processor, it's going to look like pink sludge. We woke up today and looked at each other and we're both like, are we going to go out today? Nah, let's get in PJs. Season 3 is really lit y'all. There have been zero attempts to make content together since your return. Did he chicken out after he saw that people weren't gonna let the K-Bella incident go? Order lunch and call Subway has good pickles. Sub stop. <laughs> but their food tastes exactly the same. Man, that's good. I wanna start reading, but I used to be like up to date on most Stephen King stories that came out. 
I want he's so prolific like how many stories has he come up with since my I've, the last one I've known like I know a book you could check out how about the Quran heard it gets really good past page 55 I think the last one I knew of was like Mr. Mercedes <laughs> that's it breakfast and lunch in one <laughs> and now I have this huge bottle of water that I'm gonna finish the next maybe two hours And just enjoy the day. I'm not ashamed to admit I enjoy these days. Pajama party days. We don't have really any housework to do right now. Maybe I'll rearrange those pillows. So yeah, it's these little moments I, I, I appreciate, you know? Yeah, these little moments of like comfort, happiness, you know? I'm just gonna uh, enjoy the day with my husband and my cats and Howie. <laughs> he was so excited. I gotta film him. Okay, we'll do a Howie extravaganza one day, one of these days. <laughs> Alright guys, so thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Enjoy your weekend!